Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get Wii games for your PC, like Zelda Breath of the Wild and Mario Kart 8. So first you're going to want to go to wiiusbhelper.com. It's going to come up with this. And then you're going to scroll down and download for Windows. It's going to come down here, and I recommend making a folder for it because all of these scripts here, they're going to um, they're going to pop up every time you open it, so it's going to just flood your desktop, and it's going to be really annoying. Next, you're going to want to download Simu Emulator. This is how you're actually going to play them. Just go to simu.info and go to the download tab, and then download the latest version right here. After that, you're going to want to go to your Wii U USB helper, and it might take a bit to load the first time. You're going to go to your games tab right here, type in the game you want. Zelda Breath of the Wild. I know that's what you want. Um, you're going to come here and you're going to set extraction directory. What I did was I made a folder called Wii U Games and then I made it inside there, Wii U Extraction Directory. After that, you're going to set download directory and I set that inside my Wii U Extraction Directory, so it's right here. Then it's going to load something right here. Okay, so then you're going to click verify and then start downloading. It's going to ask you if you want to download the update. So you're going to want to click yes, and then it's going to ask you to if you want to download the DLC, and you're going to want to click no because if you do, it's going to add a lot of bugs. This download manager tab is going to pop open, and you want to click unpack all right here. Or just unpack because that's going to unpack it into your folder for you. After that, you're going to want to run Simu, and this is what it looks like. I downloaded a plugin so it runs a lot faster. You can do that too. Uh, it's at this web address right here. And then you can download the Simu hook is what it's called, and I have 1.9 so I downloaded it for 1.9. You're going to come over here and you're going to file load. It's The first thing that's going to pop up is maybe the Wii U X directory, maybe even your documents. You're going to go through Wii U games, which is what I did, I went to, and then I went to Wii U X directory. And so you're going to have two folders, one's for the update and one is for the actual game. Every time you download one of these, you're going to want to go to the base game and not the DLC. So we're going to go to the Zelda Breath of the Wild base game. You're going to go to code, and then this file is called uking.rpx, and rpx is the Wii U folder file. So I'm going to click this and open it. It's going to load all my shaders, which are pre-installed. You don't need to do anything. While that's working, uh, you're going to want to click GX2 set GPU fence skip hack, which is under options. And what this does is it unlocks the FPS. So most Wii U games are capped at 30 frames per second, and it's going to let you go to 60. We're going to click continue. You, you're going to need a, uh, a controller of some sort. I have my Xbox One controller hooked up to this. And then you can map out the controls right under options and that is input settings and then see I have my emulate controller is the Wii U gamepad I have keyboard is you can use but it's really hard since there's no joysticks I used X1 input and this is my controller one you can set all the different controls through this and then you want to click calibrate save so as you can see I am getting a stable 30 FPS, but there's a way we can increase this because at this it's pretty choppy and not fun. So what you're going to want to do is go to cheatengine.org. And before you do this, I recommend getting a um, an antivirus because if you download this, it will sneak in a virus, but it's pretty easy to remove anyways. So right here at the top is Cheat Engine 
when I click download that and then it's going to come up here and I'm going to run it. First what you want to do is have Simu open and then Simu 1.9 right here open. We're going to enable speed hack and then 0.5 and then apply. So what that's going to do is if we go back into this As you can see now, it's a 53, 58 frames per second, and before it was only around 30. So this makes the game really stable, and it's basically better than playing it on the Wii U. I would still only play it at windowed because if you go to full screen, it's kind of, kind of pixelated. But I don't know if that's just because of my graphics card or not. Speaking of graphics cards, what we're going to do is we're going to go to, if you have an NVIDIA card, you're going to come down here to NVIDIA control panel. And this is going to take a bit to load. You're going to go to manage 3D settings, program settings. And this is to help make the game run faster. Simu, I already have that selected. Simu's right here. You're gonna go to multi-display mixed GPU accelerations and set it to single display performance mode. You're gonna go to power management mode and prefer maximum performance. Shader cache off, texture filtering on, texture filtering quality high, texture filtering on, and threaded optimization on. VSync I don't have this monitor so I don't not turn that on then you're gonna click add I think I already did this so I don't need to do it again then you can easily just X out of that and go back into the game and you will have smooth a smooth game you will get frame drops when there is a like an explosion or something, or something new happens in the game. For example, if you ever played this, you can get get different um, powers. And the first time I played this, I th the first time I threw a bomb, yep. the first time this explosion happened, it was super pixelated and it dropped to two frames per second. That is just an example though. Many things will happen like that, but as you just saw, it hasn't done it since. Alright guys, that basically just wraps it up. Uh, that's all there is to it. Just these th four programs. The Wii USB, Cheat Engine, the Simu, and the Simu Hook. Thanks you guys for watching. Peace.